right what you're seeing is a nas an old computer converted into a nas it's actually got over 60 terabytes worth of media on here and that's one of the reasons why when i start cody i wanted to wake up the nas the nas is only for my media so i don't need the nas to run 24 hours a day i only want it to come on when cody comes on and the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to get cody to start up your another computer or a server or a nas at the time when you launch cody you can see it's off the server is off i'm not going to show you the settings that you need to do on the server then i'll go show you the settings you do on cody and then i'll demonstrate it working right it is now turned on you can see the light at the back there right so instead of uh, putting a monitor at my nas and setting it up from there i'm going to log into the nas remotely from a laptop so here i'm on another computer and i'm just going to log in this is the address of my nas so ideally uh, you would be on your nas directly meaning you would have a monitor and you would just log in but i'm going to do it via the remote desktop so you can see that when i connect it logs in immediately so now i am on that nas the nas the the, the computer i showed you it was on top of that cupboard so this is the computer which I want to be configured in such a way that it is woken up by Cody. So what you need to do is just come here and you say device manager. Uh, you type in device manager. You come here and you're looking for your internet uh, adapters, your network adapters. Sorry, there you go. And you can see on this uh, NAS, on this computer, it's actually got two internet uh, network cards so if you're not sure which one is active you can just come here and you say open network and sharing center and then you go ethernet and say change adapter options okay so here you can see the two network interfaces this one is unplugged so the one that i'm configuring is this one and it says intel ethernet connection i217v so when i come back to my control panel there it is this is the one i right click it i say properties and then under the power management tab, it's already been done, so I'm just going through what I did. You must check this box, which is allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Then you check this one, which is allow this device to wake the computer. And then this last box is only allow a magic packet to wake the computer. So this is a special packet with some flag set and the uh, network interface card, even when the uh, computer is in sleep mode, uh, is still in a low power state and it's still examining packets that are flying in the network and uh, on its interface and it's looking for a certain packet called a magic packet and when it sees it it triggers the computer the operating system to wake up the bios then wakes up the operating system so that is all set now the last thing you need to do is you do need to know the physical address of this card and the reason why is because when you go to cody the magic packet uh, script needs to know the physical address and why a physical address is because it needs to be able to uh, put that in the field of the magic packet and it needs to go and locate that computer so it's not just the logical address the logical is kind of your ip address the physical address is a layer two address is actually called a mac address so we've got to get the mac address of your network card very easy to do i'm just going to show you two possible ways you can come back here you click on that network you scroll down and there is the physical address can you see it says the fc double a one four nine two two a forty one you can even copy that and if you could log in remotely to your uh cody computer you could then configure it again remotely but if you're going to have to do it at your tv and, and sit there it's fine just write down this address if the, you can't find that one you can also just go to the command prop type in ip config forward slash all and you'll also get that same address you see that was that killer e2200 we don't want that one we want this one can you see that's the one fc double a 1492 2a41 right now i can effectively put this computer to sleep because it is now set so i'm gonna now say sleep and the computer has now gone to sleep and i'll just show you um, i'll just wait about 10 seconds before i try and uh, log into it remotely if i go to that server above the cupboard and i look you'll see that the lights are off and the computer has gone to sleep but the ethernet card is still in a low power state so you can still see the link light and the other uh, led flashing and obviously it is also waiting for that magic packet to wake it up all right so if i try and connect it'll just go like this for about 10 seconds and it'll come back with an error saying uh the computer is offline so what i'm going to do now is i now go to the cody uh computer and i go and i install that script and there you can see just showing you that that nas is now offline and we'll use the script to wake it up 
Okay, this is where my Cody is being watched. Now you can see there's the screen and in the left hand corner I've got a little computer that acts as a little media center. So there's my little media center and uh, that allows me to boot up Cody. It's running Windows 10 and I'll show you how to set up Cody to wake another computer on your network. Okay, so just demonstrating if I'm at videos and I come to files and if I go to movies, you can see that it's not going to work because the server is offline. All right, so for the purpose of this video, I've logged into this TV via the remote desktop again and here is the Kodi interface now to activate that script you come to system then you want to go to add-ons I've already done this so I'm just showing you what I did I'll say search and then you're looking for magic that's enough you can just say magic and then you'll see that it says script advanced wake on LAN and then you want to install it now I've already installed it so I can just show you what it looks like now this is where you put in that MAC address. Remember I showed you how to get the MAC address from your uh, server or the NAS that you want to wake up. So there I've placed this MAC address from the NAS, the computer I'm trying to wake up and I've placed it here and then I just gave it a name. Then it's got some other settings which is uh, really up to you what you want to personalize. Uh, you can see my settings, I'll just show it to you if you're interested. And then the notification, it does show the notification when you start Kodi. You'll see once it's activated, what happens when you start Kodi. And then there's some advanced settings, which you can just also have a look at the ones I've chosen. Right, so this is what happens. I'm going to exit Kodi, and then I'll show you the script running. Right, so I start Kodi, and you'll see there it comes. It says waking up. NAS and says NAS is awake and it, it happened really quickly because it's already woken up the NAS but you'll find that it takes a bit longer than that and you may even get a, an error and I'll show you what that error looks like but even though I do get this little error it still does wake up the NAS I think it's just because of the delay in terms of the NAS responding to that script because the NAS has to boot up from sleep all right just showing you what the error looks like if you look on the um Bottom of the screen, you'll see it says the error on host up check, uh, get info has failed. And uh, that does happen, but it does still wake up the NAS. So if you get that, don't stress, just go and check your, your server and it might still work. And here I'll just show you, um, there are some movies and it's what my NAS is now awake. So if I just wanted to uh, start one, You'll see there, if I say play, it's streaming it directly from the NAS because the NAS is now online. There you can see the NAS is awake. All right, so that's been working now for more than two weeks. So I'm happy with the solution. I hope it works for you. Thanks for watching. Cheers.